Hey everybody, my name is Gadam, welcome back for another video of Middle Ages 2, boys. Choice of life, of course, Middle Ages 2. We're starting, we're continuing this series. This is a really fun game to play. The first part was really fantastic, boys. Obviously, I got attacked, though. Can't go back to the castle without getting the ring because they think I'm not the prince. I don't know how I'm gonna find the ring, but at least I'm getting close to the academy. I'm kind of intrigued by the burn house though, so we're gonna go there first. Because, why not, boys? So some kind of creature is hunched over, collecting boards lined with nails amongst the remains of a charred house. Uh, its silhouette looks familiar to you somehow. Move closer, leave. Uh, I'm gonna move closer. Uh, you recognize Lord, then you notice a small barrel next to him. What do you want? Haven't been beaten in a while? You wanna fight? What are you doing? Uh, well, what's in the barrel, my guy? Uh, Lord's expression softened a little and it looked like he even smiled, although he could have been a cramped. Alright. Well, this is my L. I made it myself and no uh, such as you would not understand it, its refined taste. I don't want to. No, let's taste it. There we go. The smooth, creamy taste of L turned out to be excellent. An extra art, boys. Great. Hey, blockhead! Don't drink too much. I'm gonna. I'm going to sell it. Well, it's an excellent L, buddy. He nods. He pleasant. He's pleased with his brew. Uh, we need to open an inn. Finn says it's profitable business, and I've got a lot of debts to pay. Well, do you need help? The, he shrugged epilepsy. In order to help, to build an inn, you need tools. Uh, where can I find any tools? Well, let's look for lumberjacks, boys. Oh, we'll rob travelers on the way. Uh, I'm not gonna rob anybody. Uh, let's just look for lumberjacks, I guess. He put the keg on his back and you set off to lumberjacks' plot. You made it through, uh, there by evening. Uh, all the lumberjacks left, leaving their tools unattended. Wait for the... Take the tools? I'm gonna wait for them. Uh, a few tired lumberjacks sat, uh, sat around the fire singing sad songs about the hard work. Uh, I'm gonna offer them work, boys. Offer the taste of the ale. And you know what? I'm gonna... No. Because he needs to sell it. So I'm gonna f uh, offer the, the lumberjack work. After tasting L and hearing the idea about a tavern, the lumberjacks agreed to help. Great, there it is, boys. Just like that. The next day, lumberjacks put up a log house and put together a roof for it. Lord's new tavern is ready already. Within one day, boys, we um, we build a tavern. That's something. So we are now a builder. So and you are not as dumb as I thought you'd be. Come to my tavern sometime. I'll treat you to some hell. All right. Uh, We'll do that. After drinking a few pints of cream L, you hit the road. Alright, good. I've got an extra heart from that boy. So that really was a good thing to do. To go to the burn house and help him out. Got two extra hearts from that, boys. Really good. Now we can go to the, the academy. Also, while we're at it, I can look at my skills. I've got, uh, obviously, a scar. But I also have the liar thing. So I'm a liar. I'm a... Uh, Cheeky Prince, I'm also a builder. That's what I am right now. I'm a bunch of stuff, boys. Let's go to the academy. A tower loomed ahead, just, a f uh, just as Finn had said. But by, uh, by the noon, uh, by the noon, you reach the entrance. Um, to the entrance, or look around. I'm gonna go to the entrance. Let's go. You headed towards a massive oak door. The motion, uh, motionless clay statue stays next to it. Uh, the door is locked. You must all you almost turned around to leave, but out of the corner of your eye, you noticed how the clay statue began to move. I'm gonna stand confidently. I'm not scared of a clay statue of, of a gargoyle, boys. The clay statue clumsily turned towards you. He doesn't look dangerous. Who are you, and why did you come here? Push the figure. Uh, I need to see Calistratus. I'm just a wayfarer. I need to see Kalistratus. He thinks for himself when and whom he needs to see. Well, let me go, you stupid piece of clay. Well, I'm not gonna insult him. Uh, I'm the prince. I'm a peasant. 
Uh, I'm a, I'm a peasant. You know what? No, I, I'm the prince. The spell, the spell of truth is broken. The door is open. There we go. You just need to speak the truth, man. It's magical, so speak the truth. The door opened a passage into a large round ball. A young man stepped out of the darkness. Uh, you look terrible. How many nights did you spend in the forest, newbie? I came to see Kalastratus. I need to say uh, I need to stay overnight. No, I came to see uh, a special dude. I never see uh, even seen him. They said that he only comes here on the na on the day of the exam. Well, what kind of test? Well, I'd like to rest. What kind of uh, test uh, test is the exam exactly? It it's overseen by himself uh, by him himself, a friend of mine. Wanted to take the test, but he never even made it out of the t forest. As for me, I won't even try. Well, as to say for the night, I guess. The student brought you to a small dining room and got some food uh, from the cellar. I'm gonna eat it. Uh, you ate your fill. You feel a little better, but now you're sleepy. You can rest in the corner of your storm room. Finn will decide what to do with you ne uh, tomorrow. Ah, uh, Finn again. Why are you being nice to me? Uh, you know what? Uh, thank you, I guess. A student took you to the uh, pantry where exhaustions overtook you. You passed on the step there on the floor until morning. All right, so it, it is you again. Uh, I was begun to think I was be I began to think that the wolves had eaten you alive. Uh, where can I find to do that? Eager, aren't you? I've only personally seen Calisterus once during an exam. Uh, you can meet him with uh, the, the you, you can't meet him that uh, that easily. I want to take the exam. I want to study for the exam. Uh, let me study then. Since you're here, you might as well study uh, for the academy. Lessons will start tomorrow. I'll teach you how to brew a potion. Uh, study? No wait. No. All right. I'll study. Why not, boys? That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, so noises come from the cellar of the tower. You look inside and noise. Notice some uh, students having fun. Call the clay. Join in. I'm gonna call the clay. I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be a bitch about it, boys. I'm gonna be a, a uh, I'm gonna be a snitch. They got him dispersed the students. Now they hate you. Well, they can hate me all they want. I don't care. In the morning, you went into the classroom in the second floor. You saw several alchemy tables. With various devices and ingredients, and a clay statue standing motionless against the far wall. Uh, go for the tr uh, go to a free table. Ask students about supplies. I mean, they hate me now, so obviously I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to a free table. Eventually, Finn entered the room, and the class began. Today's lesson is easy: making a transformation potion. Let's get through it quickly. So take the wolf's ransom. This plant. This plant. Look at another student's work. That's also the, always the best thing to do, boys. Students staring at the table next to you add a purple grass to the mixture. Boom. You add a mysterious herb. Orb. There we go. Now, add the next ingredient. St st uh, a cedar oil cake. Let's take another look, boys. Steady Q saw you looking at another student. It hides you in the back to your desk. All right. Well... I did try, boys. I cheated once, I guess. Uh, so, said uh, oiled cake, huh? I would think it would be this one. Seems like something you need. And the last ingredients of the po uh, potion is ratty floor. This one, right here. The your body locked up. You were paralyzed for a moment before you fell over. Well, uh, the great powder. You mix all of the ingredients together in the pot and create a potion. What is it? If you brew the potion correctly, it should turn you into a rat for a few seconds. Show me your results if you if you confi if you confident in it. Pour the potion out. Drink the potion, boys. I'm confident. There we go. Adept of alchemy. The con a concussion work. You were suddenly reduced to the size of a rat, and instead of your normal voice, you let out a squeak. Only lasted for a half a minute, though. All right, that is all for today. An hour in an hour, we'll go to the greenhouse to do some weeding. You're free until then. All right, let's rest, boys. 
You spent several weeks training at the academy. Time seems to fly by in the brink of an eye. You've had a wonderful time. However, every time you've asked to speak with Calisturtus, you've been met with the same answer. Wait for the exam. Well, at least now I'm an adept of alchemy, which means I can do potions. I'm going to become a literal magician, boys. That's going to be great. Or a sorcerer of some sort. You've got some free time. Sleep. Have fun. I'm going to sleep, boys. Sleep all day. Give me an extra heart. Uh, he called out, uh, called all of the new students for the floor, first floor for an important announcement. All right, let's go. You've become used to the academy. It's time for you to te for your first test. If you want to stay and continue studying for the exam, you must bring me a one-year-old snowdrop. It grows in the forest, a white forest in the north of here. It doesn't matter how you get it. All that matters is that you do. Uh, how does a one-year-old snowdrop even look like? Well. All right, let's do it. Let's run with it, boys. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna turn mad against them. Not gonna be impatient. Let's just do what we have to do. All right. What does it look like? Its stem is a spiral to the color of a violet. It also grows much stronger than an ordinary store drop. In just a year, you absolutely can't miss it. Let's hit the road, boys. Okay, so this is the right for. This is why I need to go. The rune hut. This is on the way anyways. Unexpected event. Let's see what this is. Uh, Want to play a game? If you win, I'll give you this apple. If you lose, I'll give you... Um, nothing will happen. Alright then. Sure. One, two, three. Scissors, papers, rock. Paper. There it is. A teenager bet a stone and lost. You want a juicy apple that restored your strength. Awesome, boys. Just like that. That's really awesome. All right, that was easy. Extra hard from that. You notice how the student kicked the rat after you uh, the next kick. The rat flies at you. Kick the rat. Uh, why are you torturing it exactly? Uh, he stole my stuff. These what it's called regents. And he told me to kiss his ass. Well, kick the student any uh, kick the student away. Well, he deserves it, I guess. There we go. The rat eagerly bit your finger. Well, well, well. That way is close. So I was mean to the rat and uh, I just lost an art because of it. That's great, boys. Let's go to the right forest now. Finally, collect our stuff. So you reach the edge of the right forest. You are suddenly assaulted by a bitter cold. You didn't dress warmly enough for such weather. Uh, look uh, for somewhere to spend the night. Do squats. How's that going to help me? All right. Well, you know what? Just for the, just for it, boys. Just for the sake of it, the squats in you no longer feel cold. Time to keep moving. All right, there we go. You see berries on the background of the snow. They clearly stand uh, stand out. I'm not gonna eat those berries. Are you mad? I'm not gonna eat those. It seems that you have to, that you, that the bush is tearingly plantedly at your back as you leave. I'm not I'm not eating that shit. Uh, you decided to continue your search for the snowdrop. After walking along the, uh, the path for a while, you finally reach the glade. Look for the snowdrop in the dense forest. In the glade. Uh, I'm gonna go for the glade. It seems like there has been a lot of people here recently. You've seen, you see quite a lot of footprints, but not a single snowdrop. Alright, you started feeling a numbness all throughout your body. You notice the, co notice the corpse of an animal not far from uh, behind you. Climb inside the corpse? Why? Like, like, uh, basically like the, um, like Star Wars style, I guess. Try to build a fire. Ignore the cold. <laughs> Ignore the cold, like I'm a badass or something. I'm gonna, no, I'm not gonna, that's dangerous though. That's dangerous, I'm gonna ignore the cold. Whatever, boys. The cold doesn't stop paying attention to you. I don't care. You're caught in the snowstorm. You can hear dogs howling from afar. Look further. Go back. I'm gonna go back, boys. This is dangerous. Your footsteps have been covered by snow. You have no choice but to keep going further. Uh, the blizzards have gotten worse. You can barely set a foot in your, uh, in, uh, in front of you. Now, the howling sound has grown even closer. You do not think there are, these are regular dogs, no. 
they're probably wolves. A uh, run left, uh, run left into the forest, or run right uh, to the ri frozen river. I'm going back to the forest. You stumble upon a small clearing in the forest. You can see several young snowdrops growing here. Look for a one-year-old uh, snowdrop, boys. All of the snowdrops are young. They're a small, but a straight stem. Not, uh, not what you are looking for. Uh, you can, uh, you can hear howling close behind you. No doubt about it. There's, uh, there are wolves, and they seem to be hunting you. Call for help. I'm gonna look for a snowdrop. I don't care, boys. You examine all the snowdrop, regardless of the wolves. They are all young. You cannot find the one you are looking for. Damn, man. You spot, um, you spot a, fell, a fresh tail of fruit trims, fruit trims, human footprints, and some broken branches. Someone is in the forest with you. I'm gonna follow the the man that's in the forest. It leads you to a grove. All right, a figure wearing a familiar robe stands behind uh, before you. When they turn around, you recognize the boy as an academy student. Uh, well, what are you doing here? I found it. It's a spiral stem. Look. It's the one-year-old uh, snowdrop. Steal it? I'm not gonna steal it. Uh, bring him back to his senses? Ah, uh, you know what? Bring him back to his senses. You grabbed him by the shoulders and shook him as hard as you could until his colder gaze cleared and returned to his senses. There we go. Damn, I'm sorry. Wolves, I've got a couple of knives. Uh, then get ready to fight. All right, get ready to fight, my guy. You were cornered by the uh, uh, tree big, white wolves. The animal is big, uh, making harmless sound. It's pretending to be harmless. Attack him. I'm gonna pat him, boys. The beast whined and ran into the bushes. Oh, okay. He growls, but doesn't dare to approach. I'm gonna jump back. There we go, you punched back. You jump back and didn't get any damage. There it is. Agility, boys. Agility all day. Be passive about it. You managed to take down uh, one wolf as the other boy handled another. The third wolf paused, seeming to calculate his chances, uh, chances uh, of survival before turning on his heels and running away. The student said nothing further to you. Just put, uh, just put his snowdrop in his backpack and left. To hell with this forest? Well, keep looking. I'm gonna keep looking. You look around but found nothing. It's time to leave the forest. You finally make your way through the forest and the other side. Taking a lot around, uh, a look around, you notice a tall, grand looking house up on the uh, far off hill. Well, that didn't lead to nothing, boys. I didn't get what I was looking for and on the way I got attacked by wolves. At least I didn't get any damage, but still. Alright then. Let's go to the rich yard, I guess. Let's see what we can do here. In front of you in the village is a village surrounded by a palisade. Judging by the state of the village, this is home to uh, the Guardian of the North. Uh, you can see a gate guarded by soldiers ahead and in uh, and a stranger who is staring at you from the other side. Come to the gate, approach the stranger, climb into the palisade. I'm gonna come to the gate. An elderly bald-headed guard takes notice to you. Uh, I'm the prince, let me in. Who lives here? What is your business here? I'm the prince. Then you uh, go to your own castle, prince. This is the Blake's courtyard. Uh, the guard waved his hands demissively at you. Wait, what? He's not gonna let me. A girl walked up to the gate after hearing the loud screaming. Who is she? Wolfgang, why are you making so much noise? Who is here? Uh, I'm gonna introduce myself, I guess. Oh, so judging by the robes he's wearing, he does look like an ac academy student, but he's spouting some nonsense. Did he get drunk in a potion? Look, I really need your help right now. Uh, Alice escorted you to the stable and ordered servants to bring you food. I am really the prince, man. What the hell are you talking about? Today you are a student of the academy and tomorrow you are the prince. I believe your first excuse more. Uh, the prince died in a hunting accident six months ago. Look, I didn't die, all right? You didn't have time to finish speaking as you were interrupted by Wolfgang. Countess, a message has come from our grave Christian. He'll dine uh, to appear tomorrow for the celebration of the Equinox. 
These flowers were delivered with the uh, will, uh, were delivered with the message. Did you even listen? I'm the prince. Wolfgang left and Alice plunged into the to her thoughts, completely ignoring you. Damn that Christian! Showing up without an invitation, he can't stick these fl uh, stupid flowers where the sun doesn't shine. The prince is standing right in front of you. My girl, you claim you are the prince. You speak well, so you're, uh, you're obviously not some uh, village idiot. But how do you know? Uh, how I know? How I know? How do I know you're telling the truth? Do I have some sort of proof that you are the prince? Unfortunately, not. I had the ring, but I. Uh, you tell about the stolen ring, I guess. Well, you're still here. Good, I've got an idea. I helped you, so now it's your turn to help me. You'll pretend to be my fiancé tomorrow. Maybe that will get this hillbilly to leave me alone. Uh, well, how? You know what? That doesn't sound like a great idea. So that's how you show your gratitude. Uh, how will that... Uh, how will we do that? You know what? How, how about no? How about I don't give a fuck about you? First off, you are ignoring me the, for the entire way, so I'm not gonna help you. You deny the request, you are now banned from entering the Blake Yard. Well, great. Not only did I not find what I needed in the forest, I'm banned from this place as well. A bunch of assholes everywhere, boys. Nothing's going my way right now, really nothing. Let's go to the windmill, I guess. The whole academy thing is not what... I, I basically wasted six months right here for no particular reason. That's just great. Uh, you know what? Let's go to the village, actually. I think the village will be more helpful to me than a windmill. What is this? A man in dirty clothes runs towards you and yells something indist uh, indistinct. Knock him out. Let him pass by. It turned out that the men were just playing tag. You joined along. And had a good time. Well, there we go, boys. All right, so you feel tired. However, over the hill, you can already hear the working people in the village. All that remains is to get over the hill. Rush up the hill. Take a rest. Well, I'm going to take a rest. No, I'm going to rush up the hill. Ah, I lost an arc. God damn it, man. You lie exhausted in the grass and mire the blue sky until someone heads, uh, blocks your view. I'm going to peer over. You see a man that looks like a bandit, square head, knocked out from tooth and a few small scar scars. Hey, Wayfarer, I see you haven't eaten for a long time. I can help. And who are you? I'm the one who's offering you a profitable deal. Do I get what I want? Uh, do you get what I mean? All right. What's the deal? Uh, looks. Uh, look here. There will be a cart uh, coming by very soon. I want you to stand in the middle of the road and stop the card. Pretend to be a fool. Got it? Alright, so the card is driven by a weary man. He looks neat, which is extremely unusual for these kinds of places. Guess I'm blocking the path. The carriage has stopped right in front of you. A man lifts his white hat from his eyes. He calls out to you. What happened? Do you need something? Tell about stranger, ask for food. You know what? Uh, tell about the stranger, I'm gonna tell them about him. Oh, those bands that again, help me, would you? Stand with your back for, uh, to the forest. All right, I'm gonna agree. There we go. You do as, we're, uh, as you were asked. The merchant takes, you, takes out two bundles, one of which he gives to you. You notice a dagger on the, a white cloth. There we go, he gave me an iron dagger, boys. Uh, while you were looking at the package handed to you, there is a loud click above your head. Look up. The merchant hurriedly loads the next bolt into the crossbow. The three bandits are rushing towards you. An archer with a bolt and his chest is lying behind them. I'm gonna fight, boys. There we go, Braveheart. There it is. You stand up trying to look as threatening as possible. All you can do is wait until bandits reach you. In the heat of battle, you back your back hitch unbearably. Uh, ask the enemy to scratch. What? I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep watching the enemy. And I died. It turned out that you were bitten by a large br a tick that bad drunk a fair amount of, of blood. Damn! I died. 
I lasted a very long time, boys. That's the thing. I very la I lasted a very long time before actually dying. Bards will sing the song. All right, let's go back to the village, boys. So, take a rest. There I go. So that's the right thing to do. I don't. We do not. We do not want to rush up the hill, boys. You are tired. You feel asleep. Fall asleep. Uh, but the sound of the wheels keep inter interrupting it. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna ignore it. You hear something rustling behind you, and then you hear a sound as if someone just sneezed. Try your best to fall asleep, man. Uh, I guess I should look. I should look. Irritated by the noise, you look around the ticker and notice a car that is going along the road. The car is driving, um, driven by a man in a canvas shirt. Um, I'm gonna keep sleeping. Whatever, boys. You hear something rustling behind you, and then you hear a sound as if someone just sneezed. I'm just gonna sleep. There we go. Just sleep. I don't care. Finally, you feel uh, fell asleep, but at least the, uh, the last moment you get disturbed by the screams of people and a clang of weapons. I I'm sleeping. I don't care. I'm fable, boys. I don't care. I need to sleep. There's an extra heart right there. After taking a nap and regaining your strength, you go out into the road, where you notice a cart and the body of the merchant near in the uh, near it. On the ground. Let's examine the cart. Why not, boys? There we go. Got a crossbow out of this. Nice. Got a weapon, boys. So now we're going to the village. We're off to the village. Uh, crossing the hill, you saw several, uh, several dozen houses scattered across the uh, endless field. Go to the fields. Go to the main square. Uh, let's go to the main square, boys. The knight shows his armor off to the peasants before your eyes. Uh, who are you without your armor? Uh, admire him without... Well, who are you without your armor, exactly? A genius, nobleman, favorite ladies, and feudal lord. And so the knight, with a grin, and galloped away. Alright, so you wanted to sleep terribly. Thankfully, there was a wagon with some bay in it. A, sw a small wooden house nearby. Well, I need to sleep again? How many times am I going to have to sleep, boys? Uh, to the house. Lay in the wagon. I'm going to lay in the wagon, boys. Uh, you fell off a moving wagon somewhere in the field. You had to go back by foot. Alright, so slowly knocking with a cane, a gray-haired old man um, trudges towards you. Uh, I'm gonna say hello first. No, ignore him. While you pretended not to notice him, the old man came closer to you. Re when you re he realized that there was no other way to attract your attention, he crushed your leg beneath his cane. What the fuck? Hey, you nasty old man. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm being beaten up. Help me. Well, hit me. Uh, hit him in the stomach. You know what? It's not me. Several ha hard workers ca come running at the call of the old man and they don't look very friendly. I'm staying still. Fuck it, man. A few punches to his face make you feel guilty. The guilt drives you from the square and you move towards a uh, move to the field. Unbelievable. Walking between the fences, uh, uh, serenely touching the speakly of the wheat, you trip over uh, uh, something and fall. Uh, standing over and dust up yourself up, you see that you tripped over a man. Oh my fucking... Alright, help him get up, boys. You risk getting your shirt dirty and held uh, uh, out your hand to help the man up. Fortunately, everything went smoothly and your shirt stayed clean. Alright, good. Uh, thank you, boy. Forgive me by, uh, uh, for lying here because uh, because of me, you fell. I'll atone for my guilt. And uh, who is this supposed to be, boys? It's Michelle. Nice to meet you. I'm the loco local hunter, okay? You look more like a bard than a hunter, but okay. Uh, where, what, are we, what are you doing here? Well, I was sniffing out the tracks. I can smell them well. I'm going to call for help, I guess. Wow, that royal forest? What a coincidence. I'm just hunting someone out there. Tell me what you're looking for. Well, I'm gonna tell him uh, about the bandits and stuff. Well, the ring, not a bad story. Well, if Michelle said he would help, Michelle will do it. Meet me at the entrance of the forest. All right. So it looks like, it looks like we made a friend, boys. It looks like we made a friend, maybe a hunter or something. Uh, he, if he is indeed a friend, he could potentially help me uh, find those assassins. Maybe not the ring, but at least find the assassins and get revenge on them. 
then we'll tell uh we'll have to find a way to get the ring though in uh, some way shape or form the old uh the old um, academy thing went down and uh, went down in sh uh, shambles so we can we gotta forget about this and the girl that was the leader of this place alice she banned me from our, our area because I was being an asshole towards her, which tends to happen a lot, boys. So, whatever, I guess I'm going to end the video here. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video, boys. See you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.